All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Vambrae's Cold Soul. It's a roguelike. I'd say more, but I I don't want to be wrong. But it's gorgeous, and the music's kind of cool. It is also kind of loud. I might have to mess with that. I If I remember right, Darkest Dungeon was mentioned in the description of this game. It I partially ignored things because, yep, that's Darkest Dungeon. Uh... But yeah, I had mildly ignored this because there was an embargo that admittedly ended a week ago, uh, but that there was a secondary embargo that came out uh, that, that is like tomorrow or something like that. So I have, I have plenty of leeway on what I can do here. Uh, let's see. And I can't find the buzzwords thing because they've been sending me reminders every day for the past couple of things. Anyway, so, all right, so this is the place I told you guys about. Looks like the spooks got here first. Was it really worth leaving our regular path to come all the way out here? We're not patrolling today. Besides, if we don't find more supplies soon, we'll all be in trouble. Have you have you a better suggestion? I'm not the one that has to tell that will have to tell Celeste we came back empty handed. Shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking about up here? Just look around and see if you can find anything useful. Check out the tutorial graphic above and move out. Your character can move left and right on the field. Command box in the bottom left corner displays your interactive options with the environment around you. Command box in the bottom right displays the inventory, bio, codex, and map options. The inventory displays the items your, your team is carrying. Map displays your current location, destination, and field encounters. Bio displays your team members' stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics. I can play this with a controller. Let's get comfy. Okay, I am comfortable. Move the mouse out of here. Your progress has been saved. A door! Is it locked? Open it already and keep your guard up. Interaction icons represent a variety of ways you can engage with the environment around you. Uh, let's see, red X on the intersection icon means you can either access the area nor engage with the object. You need to hold the interact button to complete your action with certain objects. Okay, so how do we check the map? Map is up. Oh, that's cool. Displace your current position. This has got some nice style. So also, this game is supposedly quite hard, so we'll figure that out. Hopefully it's... Oh, that's interesting. Can I... So I can't go through that door. I wonder if there's different, like, paths that we unlock along the way. I found something. Looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, here it goes. <sighs> eh. Oh, Biggs and Wedge! Oh, that's great! Final, uh, Final Fantasy reference. I forgot how to open it. What? Oh, mother, help me. It's a miracle I've survived this long in the company of fools. Just press and hold the button indicated in the tutorial graphic and voila. It's usually a good idea to have someone with a high slight stat in your team do the dirty work. Containers like this may hold valuable loot. A character who has a high slight will have a chance of opening the chest and finding loot. Scavengers with low slight may have difficulty opening chests and will often find less loot. How do I pick which character? Bio. Learn more about your team member's stats, stuff, left or right to toggle between the characters on your team. Art icon indicates health, flame is vigor, sword is combat, uh, indicates combat and represents the character's prowess of fighting. Slight, uh, merchantry or mercantile, represents the character's ability to negotiate with merchants. Awareness of individual's ability to spot traps. Party success is determined by the ally with the hardest, highest rating. And tent indicates overwatch and represents the character's ability to care for the party while camping. Okay. Oh god, it's so long. Combat skills can be performed while fighting. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. Flourish skill can only be used once it's been charged with flourish points. Uh, section displays your party's equipment. You can check the value and benefit. Got it. Use the formation button to change the arrangement of your team members. Okay. So who has the highest slight? Perfect. Okay. So we have junk. Wait to... Scrap metal. So it looks like there is a weight to all of this rope and thread. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's just grab the, the lot. The chests here are different from the ones back in Adina. Forget the chest. Try checking your inventory and character bios as indicated in the bottom right corner of the screen. Tutorial! Inventory! 
Skull icon represents Hellion, the currency used to buy and sell items. Scale icon represents capacity and indicates how much your team can carry before suffering the overweight debuff. Ah. Each section of your inventory categorizes items by the same type. Most items can be sold to merchants or removed from your inventory. However, quest items will remain with you. Relics represented by the diamond icon may be equipped to improve stats or upgrade skills. Some quest items may be equipped. Okay, well, for starters, let's go back to this. Let's see. Probably put him in front. Okay. It's a shame that I have to, like, switch a character out just to loot things. That seems like an odd decision to me. It's freezing out here. Do you think the spoofs are getting close? Did you forget to bring the gastrometer? Geistometer again. You should keep going. No use going back the way we came if they are. Stay put for too long and they'll catch up. Remember, if your health or vigor drops to zero, we'll be the ones spooking this place. Let's go. I feel uneasy. This place gives me the creeps. Red bar on the character's HUD indicates health. Uh, I'm yawning, you're yawning. If a character's health drops to zero, he or she will die. Damage to health usually is incurred during combat. Yellow bar indicates vigor. If a character will also die if vigor drops to zero. Damage to vigor is usually incurred through stress of exploration. You gain flourish points through critical action bonuses and finishing turns during combat. Accumulating enough will activate your flourish. Infrasonic Totem. You spring a trap that spreads infrasonic waves, causing you a strange tension. Minus two health. Hand tremors. Dangerous. Watch your feet. Another trap. Best to have someone with a high awareness stat in your team to avoid them. Traps are a dangerous feature of ice and air. Your party leader or the entire team could incur damage from an activated trap. Characters with high awareness will warn your party of imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily. Some actions have a probability feat, prob probability of failure. When you see the green script, it means your att attempt was a success, and red means it failed. Gray script means missed, and the enemy has evaded your attack. Blue script means you scored a critical, and your action's effects have been maximized. Well, it's just like frozen dead elves all over the place. I just saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready and think fast. Let's make sure we get all ho we all get home today. I'm ready. It's a tree. Nope, never mind. It's Gunner Looters. Okay, you have encountered hostile enemies. Your team is located on the left, and the enemy is on the right. Got it. Each team has four slots rising in value from the center. Team's character HUDs have slot icons. Okay, bottom bar displays turn order using the HUD slot icons. Awareness gives characters an advantage in initiative. If two characters have the same awareness, the one on the in the front will get initiative. If character's icon reaches this point, he, it is his or her turn to take action. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. Flourish, powerful, got it. Using guard helps your characters defend themselves at the cost of one vigor. Is a useful way to defend against a powerful enemy, flourish. You may even get a flourish point. Your characters may also pass their turn. You cannot, however, you cannot use items or change relics during combat. However, you may check the map and bio for the benefit of planning your next move. Formation allows you to rearrange your team in the heat of combat. Runaway is also a good option for avoiding combat. Okay, so it's her turn. Let's check bio. So thrust, flying shuriken, and wait. So... Combat damage to one short-range target. Massive true damage to one long-range target. Oh, I passed a turn. Or, no, I guarded like an idiot. I'm still learning these things. Okay, so what does he do? Pray. Heal self and receive inspired status for one combat turn or hit a dude. Hit a dude! Three types of every skill. Short, mid, and long. Short range are only available in position in the first or second slot. You can only target enemies in the first or second slot. Mid range can be used in any position, but can only target enemies in the first or second slot. Long range can be used in any position, can target any enemy position. If an enemy is cleared from the first slot, closest enemy will then occupy that slot. Choose your target. Your target reticle. Okay.
Okay. So we have some kind of ice pick with this guy. Whirlwind. Four true damage to mid-range targets. Okay, sure. That's not as much of a whirlwind as just a charge forward, but that's okay. Okay, so this time around... Chuck a shuriken. Boop. Wow. Okay, these guys are flimsy. So we don't even get any loot for that. Alright. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this. Oh. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this. Wait, no, what? No, Biggs is the guy in the front. What? I thought. You're the one that insisted we come out here to begin with. By all means, continue quarreling amongst yourselves if you want to be ice pops. We have the spoils we came for, and it's colder than a witch's tit out here. I, for one, am ready to return. Yeah, thought so. Hold up, guys. I see a body. Looks like a girl. Who is it? There are a lot of bodies, by the way. She's not from Daylark. I don't recognize her, and no other scavenging teams came up today either. Well, we can't help her now. Search the body. Seriously? You search her. Wait, she's still breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here. You want to bring her back? Are you mad? We have no clue who she is. She could be with the green flame for all we know. She doesn't look like one of them. Can't risk compromising Daylark's location. Celeste will have our heads. And what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious. Count Landfill. She'll decide her fate. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. I once read, a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess, I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina, in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair, answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city. I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. Ch Chapter 1, The Adventurous. Oh, I like the art style. It is... I mean, this whole game is going to be mildly derivative, but it looks nice. <coughs> I really wish this whole game was voice acted, but that would probably cost too much. My head. Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Evelia Lyric. I am Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you a moment later and you'd have been an another frozen piece of uh, another piece of frozen decor gracing the streets. I must have fainted. I never felt a chill like that before. We are, unfortunately, well acquainted with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you, she's not calling the shots, and I was feeling generous. Up there? So we're underground. Looks like I've got a sharp one on my hands. I took the liberty of searching your stuff. 
bunch of climbing gear and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking the answers about my father, the late Dr. Nikolaou Lyric. I had traveled here from Edina with his journal. Right. Everyone knows nobody goes in and out. N nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of Isenair. Isenair? You mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city? I suppose. For a moment I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? That barrier around the city? I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering to the surface are either spooks, mad survivors of the green flame. You're not dead, and as far as I can tell, you're not. You're still sane. So let's cut to the crap. Cut through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? Sounds familiar. You mean that crazy arconic cult? That crazy cult wiped out mo the most prosperous city in Dockenheim overnight, and not to be taken lightly. They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse. I can assure you, I'm not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn some Adini decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zakard. Do you know of him? Huh, there's nothing left, of a, left for us to discuss right now. But I'm feeling gracious today, so tell you what, I'm giving you tentative permission to move about Daylark. Until I figure out what to do with you, that is. Daylark? Oh, that's the name of our lovely abode deep below Isenair. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you'd best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. What's this? We call it Hellion. It's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny and you're dead. In a cell or right back on the surface where we found you. Are we clear? Crystal. I'm famished. Is there anything to eat down here? You can run while you're in Daylark. Well, I can't talk to that guy. I can't do anything with that. This is interesting. The captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. Can't go down. How to keep your body warm. Step one, make a fire. Step two, stand in front of the fire. Step three, be warm. Hmm. Keep your distance from here or you're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. Can't place her, but for some reason she looks so familiar. The frost wind howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. What? It would be nice to have Shell on hand just to read this out for me, but whatever. I don't understand. Your paperwork is done. Scramble before we change our mind. Oh. Did I read this? No, I did. Okay. Let's keep your distance from her lest you get hexed. The witch knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. Oh. This is an interesting map. Halt! You're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl, eh? You tricky bastard. I still need to check her papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. All right, all right. Go on. Who is this smooth talker? What gorgeous eyes the lady has. M Mahorem, relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but isn't that just a fancy way to say you're a thief of antiques? You offend my sensibilities with such barbed words. I'm merely a humble adventurer. who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name's Lyric. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick ear, my lady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. Ah, forgive me. You must be famished. Allow me to take you take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. Come then, follow me. Oh. Hello, you soul. This is Lyric, my dear friend since today. She's gawking at me. 
Yasol, huh? That's a pretty name. How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, milady. Do you have any hellion? Hellion. The foxy are traditionally burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice for spooks. Oh, you mean this, right? Landvale gave me some. Great. Shall we make a deal? Anything in particular you're looking for? Daylark survivors and sober wraiths conduct trade using a paper currency called Hellion. You'll need to scavenge and sell supplies you found on the field to earn more. Switch between the shop's wares in your inventory to buy and sell items. Mercant uh, mer mercantile represents your ability to negotiate with merchants. More options and rare items will appear in the shop if you have a high uh, mercantile stat. Interesting. It seems like this is more of an RPG than a roguelike, which I'm kind of curious about. Okay, so we have Splint. Here's Fractured and Strained. Gecko Tail Skewer. There are a bunch of status effects related things, which I don't want to sell. So let's see what she has. Oh, I see. These are things that I want to buy versus sell. Okay, so what is this? Fur vest, bigger max, health 2. That seems really helpful. Whoops, I bought two of them. A lot of status effects. I'm not sure if I'm hungry. I'm gonna grab this splint and some smelling salts. I'll be seeing you around. Well, I wasted all my money. Stop right there. Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Daylark? What are you doing out of prison? Perhaps there's a misunderstanding. Shut your mouth, Mahoram. Guards, arrest her. What? I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell. Celeste, right? Landville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we could interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I understand everyone's suspicions, but I already told Landville I have no connection to them. Am I to believe you just waltzed into ice and air? Ridiculous. The frostfield surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wretched gift that keeps on giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do all with all this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. If what Landville said is true... I'm just going to give up voice acting. There's too many characters. If what Landville said is true, I'm the first person to enter this city in a year. Nobody outside has, seen, has the slightest clue what's happening here. Want to know what really happened? We were the... Fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and drifters is as old as the city itself. We never imagined ice and air would devolve into total chaos. The green flame has been here stoking tensions for months, if not years. When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated, orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it. But I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now? That's convenient. Maybe Landville believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You've got the wrong idea about me. I came in good faith. Too bad. You're marching right back to that prison cell, and you're going to learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Daylark. What? How is that possible? It's at the ascending room. Please come. It's my luck. Don't think this changes anything. You're coming with me. The rumors about the mad race of Isenair be true. Yeah, I will do mild voice acting, but I'm not going to try so hard. Everybody, stand back. That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. Watch out. Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, it appears some spooks hitched a ride to Daylark in the ascending room. Who's on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as to how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. 
Is that so? Guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I... Sir, we shouldn't d jump to any conclusions. Nonsense. Get these men to Silvani Healing Hall. And be discreet about it. We don't need to cause an unnecessary panic. Post some guards on the surface. Eric, meet me in the war room at the Guardian's Barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. What is this? Hunter's Camp. You're that outlander Sarge brought down. What are you doing here? Then will let me go. What was he thinking? You may be free now, but you're still not permitted here. Step away. Well, never mind on that. I guess we'll get more access to the rest of these things at a later date. I love this over overland with the running animation is goofy. It's like da, 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 Wow, are these? I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Looks like a real tin man. I wonder how it works. You found the page of the codex. Can't tell whether it's broken or resting. Or I like this guy. Ah, I'd be amazed. Oh god, I'm voice acting again. Whatever. There are no other technical marvels like them in the world. Yeah, they're quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung, and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? Golem? Ah, I'm not surprised. You humans don't have the, some, uh, the same knack for engineering we do. There's a lot of complex tech running underneath the hood of these tin men. Inside compartment is made out of... Well, you're quite the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Sylvani hedge magic. They run on an enchanted apples. Too bad Talindra won't help me anymore. Now, if you excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. This is the Lyric's cabinet. You can store items from your inventory here. Access the items you stored from a cat stored from a cabinet located in Volsung's wor workshop in the market as well. Okay. Hi, Tin Man. How are you today? Chug a grr. I think they understand me, but they don't seem too bright. They can do some pretty complex tasks. And I can't go through that. That's a gnome. I'm pretty sure this is a... This is a dwarf. Maybe? Because this is a city of dwarves. But yeah, that is... Those are odd ears. I don't know. It's just gnomes are almost always like... Much, much shorter. Who knows? Lenville said you come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. The Guardians are composed of soldiers recruited from across the Five Realms and Free Cities of Etheria. Athera. Our efforts have been usher have ushered a new era of peace over the world. Well, except for here. Our priority now is to stop the Shade King. We need to find a safe way to evacuate the survivors from Mycenae. Fortunately, our inability to pass the Frostfell has stifled our efforts. The Frostfell has kept you trapped here this entire time? It's an enchanted barrier surrounding us in air. Anyone who touches it is instantly frozen to death. Cross fences are getting erected inside the city, too. This is a city map. Looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people of the city. A new frost fence has cut off our supplies... Uh, our access to the supplies we need. The Ghost Bazaar, the situation is dire, but we're, there's, we're still trying this under wraps. Last thing we need is a panic. We'll have to consult Balthazar to find uh, find another route, though. It always manages to find something. Yes. I don't know how it happened, sir, but we're making every effort. Lyric, glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zachward Ventru. Zachward, I set it in search for... Y the search of you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please, excuse me. Apologize. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. Please, call me Zachard. Uh, Zachard? Zachard. Yeah, it's probably Zachard. Now that I'm thinking about it. Zachard! The captain just informed me of your un unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this in introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left Daylark. 
He murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Daylog, putting many lives at risk. But I just saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I, as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Do you remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the, at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise Daylark's location. If that happens, nothing will save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried, but not, unable to follow her through the frost fence, though. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence? The smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as the frost found. The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice and air. They too are deadly to the touch. That wouldn't be an issue for you, would it? Would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true. I walked through the frost fell. I could do so through the power of this vampire's, but you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come into the possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this accursed place. This vampire's, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to, allowed me to bypass the frost fell harmlessly. Would your father happen to be the esteemed Dr. Nicol Nicolau Lyric? One and the same. How could you possibly know that? He is a renowned scholar, and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I'm very well versed on his works. Now, before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of the Archonic design. Even I can connect the dots. You recognize this thing? It's called the Aether Braze, a powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then she should give it to us. We could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. Not that simple. I can't remove it. Well, I've tried everything short of cutting off my own arm. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong character, whatever. Lyric, you seek answers, and I'm willing to help you. But our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lend, lead a party past the frost fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help. But when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare for before deploying. Take this scroll of consent. Tell Helga... But the lost lady and I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. My scouts informed me Isabel was moving north towards the entertainment district. We'll send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set for your next destination. Leave it to me. Question. Can I level up or anything? No. I'm curious. How do I get better stats? I have no idea. And yes, scroll of consent. Mm-hmm. Huh. Page of the Codex, guard. I've learned to appreciate these quiet moments. It feels like the calm before the storm are doing our next surface run. Aha. More Codex stuff. More Codex stuff! <laughs> I'll read it at some point. I don't know where I'm going. Hi. <clears throat> hey girl, over here. Uh... I'm pretty busy right now. And I'll keep it brief. I'm Mara Maru Han, acting director of the North Venture Company in Dockheim. I heard rumor Lanville was assembling an expedition to the entertainment district. Is it true? Word travels fast around here. I have a few activities to while away the hours in Daylark, and the gift of Gab has always been my speciality. Well, your sources were right, but the original expedition was cancelled, and I'm leading a new one myself. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Did not sleep nearly enough last night. Anyway. And I have a special request. There is an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, Manduk, is currently in possession of it. What is this item, and who is Manduk? A golden seal called Uxe. It is granted by the... Asadli Emperor and confers legitimacy to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the North Venture Trading Company in Dockheim. Mandic was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like something worth risking lives over. Risk brings reward. Fetch me the seal and I'll assure you get the finest deals in Daylark. You'll need my help if you're planning regular expeditions to the surface. Alright, I'll keep my eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It is of little use to her now, but priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. Lore. If I check the map. Oh boy. I kind of kind of get it. Oh, so this is where I came from. 
I love the art for this. There's a lot of detail all over the place. So that's where the meeting was. Okay, so we just looped around. I get ya. Okay, so I want to go check the upstairs as well. Seeing as... I mean, there seems to be lore everywhere. Or oh, lore! Let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Looks like I'm the least of your worries around here. I don't know how you got through the Frostfell, but my gut is telling me something is off. You may be in Landville's good graces, but respect is earned in my books. Good, that makes the both that makes both of us. I've got my eyes on you. We We've brokered a tenuous truce between the Crown Loyalists and the Drifters. This feels like it's about to explode. Captain Esquire once saved my life during a surface mess uh, mission. I owe him a huge debt of gratitude and would gladly pre pledge myself to service as some outfit. Captain is fiercely loyal to his soldiers, soldiers who won't find a more honorable man. Okay, I'm wasting too much time on on dialogue. Well, it's kind of nice to like just read stuff. There's so much and we should probably get to an actual mission instead of just wandering around freely. I went through the wrong door. I know where I'm supposed to be going now. My sense of direction is all sorts of off. But that's okay. Uh, why are we just walking in this general direction? I don't know. Uh. So why do we have an exclamation mark here? You? I have no idea. I see you eyeballing my furnace. It's a real beauty, yes? Doesn't look like a normal dwarven furnace. Kidai, I called it sin I call it Sindri. I can craft anything here, ranging from golem parts to my favorite jackalopes too. I'm something of an aspiring craftsman, so I find it very interesting. I did not realize I was in the presence of a fellow craftsman. I'd like to see how you Dini work the bellows. Feel free to use Sindri when I'm not busy with it. Really? I'm not at your level, but that would be great. You'll have to find your own materials, though. Not enough to go around down here. Just bring what you have here, and the golems will help you. That's awesome. I'll bring my stuff... I'll bring some stuff from time to time. Thanks. In return for all of this, I simply want to see your work. Deal? Don't make me regret it, Adini. I'm sure I can make some good stuff. Now, if only I had the right resources. Interesting. I wonder if this is a roguelike with some really heavy meta progression, then. If so, that would be kind of fun. Are you Helga? Oh, look at what the snowcat dragged in. I heard there was a new face in town. That is probably a dwarven lady, judging by the ample everything. My name is Lyric. Zakard? Zakar sends his regards. He said you could set me up with a room here. That's so. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're full up. Oh. Actually, I might have something for you, but it can hardly be called a room. You used to roughing it? I've had my share of nights without a roof over my head. And you won't have any problems here. We have space behind the bar that's being used for storage. You can unload over there. I'm not complaining. Make yourself at home and feel free to spruce it up. Sure. Whoa, she wasn't kidding. This place is a dump. Hey, you take what you can get. Well, if I'm going to stay here, I might as well clean up a bit. All dwarves have beards. No exceptions. Uh, on that topic, I'm making D&D &D characters for my friends for our upcoming campaign. And uh, Moose specifically is going to be playing as a female dwarf barbarian. And so I think I'm going to do two versions of the portrait. One with the beard. I might even do three. Like, a couple different versions of beard. I was thinking, like, mutton chops might kind of work. Well, not, like, full-on mutton chops, but just, like, heavy sideburns might work. But, yeah, we might also just have a version of it that is just, like, almost all hair. Because I like the idea of just, like, all dwarves have beards. <laughs> 
Anyway, it took all night to clean that mess. I have to admit this place looks a lot better now. It's really not half bad. It's about time to head out. I should check the recruitment board Lamville mentioned to see if I can find some more hands for the expedition. Keep my clothes in the closet. I can really use a fresh change. Oh, can I change outfits? You can change your clothes in the dressing room. You will unlock new skins as you progress through your expedition. Should I wear this? Yes. Yeah, that's that looks well prepared. Uh, civvies, we'll stick with the adventurous guard. I like the fact that it changes her her portrait in in, in dialogue too. It's been a while since I slept in a proper bed. It looks like it's about to fall apart, but I'd rather take my chances than sleep on the cold, stony ground. Looking at the flame relaxes me. This fireplace really brings some welcome warmth to my stay here. Well, there is so much stuff all over the everywhere. I sense the presence of a fellow adventurous. It's quite the sixth sense you have there. The name's Lyric. Who might you be? No offense, but I'm not looking for new friends. They always end up six feet under. It's a jaded outlook. Survive a few trips to the surface, and maybe we'll have something in common. Until then, keep your guard up. Okay, so I, for better or worse, I think I'm going to go on a... Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to go on an expedition, then we'll come back and talk to people. Hopefully it won't change too much, but, like, I, I feel bad that we've been playing this for, like, nearly an hour, and I've only done the tutorial. And it's all been, like, dialogue and stuff. Anyway, this looks like the recruitment board. Let's see if any hired hands are available. I have no money, by the way. Meet up with your new hires at the Lost Lady before going to the surface. Always helps to put a name to the face. Thanks for the tip. Recruiting board. You'll find willing comrades in Dalark who have added their names here. Select comrades to join your expeditions to the surface. There are only four candidates now, but you'll unlock more allies as you progress. New applicants will appear on the recruiting board from time to time. Okay, so we've got Cyrus the Dragoon, high health and vigor, great at porting, great at scouting, mercantry and overwatch, great at haggling, and high awareness, powerful flourish. So what are we? We are garbage. I can bring three people with me. So. My thoughts are Cyrus, Andrea, and Steinar. Do I need this companion? Yes. I like Steinar the best. Steinar is great. And we'll try her later. I love the art in this game. Like, some of these characters are awesome. Look at these guys. I can't tell you how many of these guys are going to end up on a stretcher and back in our hands at a healing hall. Without these volunteers, Dalark would have fallen to ruin long ago. Despite the circumstances, they were able to keep their spirits lifted. Okay, so we might as well go to the tavern so we can talk to them a little bit. So this is probably Cyrus. I'm not going up there for you. I'm honor bound to protect the survivors gathered here. Celeste told me to keep my eyes on you. Why do I get the feeling you're going to be nothing but trouble? I'm not surprised she said that. Just focus on the task at hand and we'll do fine. Yeah, I love the armor designs too. And there he is. Oi there. Oi, Laird. They've gone and done it. You're the one what's leading us. Looks like looks can be deceiving. You should be more focused on making sure your aim's straight. Boy, there. I I love I love the art so far. The textures are really interesting. It's it's very scratchy. 